How you doing? This is your boy, Two That Small Tap, okay? Um, today, on this episode, we got to be talking about the Samsung Galaxy A71 5G front sprint versus the latest phone just recently came out two, three weeks ago. The Samsung Galaxy Twin, Note 20 Archer 5G model. And I want to give you a difference from this. Now, this is the Verizon version versus the Sprint version. And what's the difference from a mid-range flasher versus a high-end flasher? And I got to give you my personal thoughts what I think about these two phones. So, I want to give you my opinion. What is a good camera? What is a good processor? Uh, and I got to lay down all that to you. Now, I'm not a big person who talk about spats, but I could give you my experience by everyday loose about each phone that I lose for spats. So, um, we got to get started with the A71 first. This is the 5G one. They have two models of the iPhone, um, the Samsung Galaxy A71. And the model that they have is the one is for $400. Uh, then you got the newest design is for the 5G model. It's this one right here. So they got the LTE 4G model. Then they have the uh, 5G model. So this is the 5G variant right here. Once you go right here, you can see and say 5G. Once you take off Wi-Fi and Wi-Fi loves to be on. So you can see this is the 5G one. But this have a camera on here that no other phone don't have. And what I mean by that is this have a 32 megapixel front camera. And in the back, you have four dual cameras in the back of this device. So you got a 12 ultra wide, super ultra wide. In the middle, you have a main camera. The right angle one is a 64 megapixel camera. Then you got the five micro and micro, Lord Jesus, micro telephoto uh, lens right here, both of them five. And then right here, you have your volume up and down, your power on this side. Then you got your speaker. Then you got your earphone jack, headphone jack, Apple, sensor, headphone jack. <laughs> Cut it out. <laughs> and then you got your uh, Type C right here. So uh, this process on here is the uh, Snapdragon 765 uh, on here. So we gotta get move on to the notes now so the note is the flash jet device and this was an opportunity to do a review on both of the devices this is a pediment for both phones now this walk in the 1080p OLED with no HDR but this have um something really special Lord Jesus, do you hate when you're doing a video and you remember what you about to say? But this have a 1080p plus versus a 1440p plus on here with the fast rate is 120 versus a 60 hope fast rate on here. So, uh, but you could also put this in 1080p and you could have that sissy hope fast way if you want to put this one in standard that turn to you if you want to say battery life for this one but this is native sissy hopes mm. excuse me but with the uh note series right here you got a 10 megapixel uh camera right here then you got the uh triple camera right here so you got three different camera with a dual flash a um radar sensor right here um i believe this is the 12 orchard one then you got your main 108 megapixel camera then you got your no this is the super orchard one this is the uh zoom one so this is your telephone lens right here and this is your regular standard right angle 
120, uh, 108, and then you got your own wide super ankle and 12. So D2 are 12 versus 100. So, uh, but if you put this in standard, basically gotta be 12 down, down to 12 anyway. So that's just being true for uh, You not got nothing on the side right here, but you get the same value walking what you get it on this device right here. Now the difference is, is the screen. The screen on this right here, the screen on this right here is a 6.7 versus a 6.9. Um, you remember, like I told you, you get um, 120 hertz on here versus 60 hertz on here. But you get a type. Now, this comes with the S Pen right here. And once you take out the S Pen, you get this. And so, so let me turn up my volume for y'all. And so, if I used to be on, and you turn everything up. Okay, so we got to turn everything up real fast. Okay, so we got to put the S Pen. This is the only difference that you're not getting on this device. You're getting the S Pen on this. So, once you get this, I just love this part. I just love doing that. Then when you take this out. And so, so this is a cool feature. And so it's just a cool feature that you could do with this. So I found that really amazing just to talk about this on him with y'all guys on Facebook, but on YouTube too. So this is the feature. So let's talk cameras. Let's talk about how good the camera quality on this one and on this one. The A series taking really amazing pictures. And, and like you asking yourself if you can the exact same picture that you get on, on here. Yes, we know that this got better pictures, but this is almost gear to this. If you like, I took some pictures today. And let me go right here on the uh, gallery. <clears throat> And I want to get a shout out to um, um, my homeboy. He allowed me to uh, review his phone. Uh, you can look up his channel. Uh, um, he will start it to you on his video. But um, you can see how I took the picture with this right here. So uh, let's zoom in. And you can see how well the picture quality with this. I like wow the picture came out really well like i really in shock that this guy a really good uh sensor and you can see that the a71 5g model so and like just seeing him like talking to y'all uh about this device and how i feel about this i think that uh they're taking really awesome pictures man uh and so so um i also took a picture that i have me. And so, so, um, yeah, I think that when you taking really good pictures, you take on really good pictures. Now and then, don't get you bad quality pictures. I think that the A series is almost there with the uh, 10 series. Any sense of high end flasher, this is there with the. So, um, the processor on them is probably different. So you get a 765 versus an 865 plus. So this gives you faster speed, but you will not notice it if you, uh, like to me, this is my understanding. I don't really notice the speed difference on here. Like playing games on both of these, it's good, but I would not notice no speed difference on now then. And that just being honest, like open an application, like let's open a camera application at the same time. One, two, three. And I mess up. <laughs> Let's do that again. So let me move on. And this time we gotta open it again. And I had this in my way. One, one, two, three. And this is a little lag. But you can see the different shade on here. But um, let's flip this around. And I hit this in <laughs> the night mode. So let go back home. Wow, this incident went straight back home. 
inside. So, and like, let like open the store at the same time. One, two, three. Yeah, this is more faster than what you get from right here. So you can see the speed difference right here. This just load up more faster than this one. And the crazy part is that 5G, you know, and say 5G, that do not mean 5G is in your era. So you know, you can say 5G, but it, it not mean that 5G in your era. So you can see that it do lag a lot, but this right here doesn't lag. You gotta keep going and keep going and keep going with this part. Both phones are really good. Like, to me, if I want to pick a really solid camera and I did not post this camp phone at all, I would choose this if I didn't have the money to buy this. I would instant pick up this because one, the camera quality is good. Two, the sound quality is excellent. Yes, it don't have dual speakers, but it is loud enough for me. I can't speak for nobody else, but it is. Like, I could go, uh, I don't want to play no uh, new set on here, but I don't want to get banged either. So, I just want to give you my first thought and my impression. This is not a full review on both of them, to just give you, like, what is the difference uh, with the camera, the sound. The sound is more better on here, but because this got dual speaker, this one got one single fire speaker, and, and plus the camera is more bigger on here than on here. So if I want to choose a winner, both of them got their ups and downs. Both of them got their cons. So either way, you could get one of the best deal with both of these phones. That might you with a high-end device or you in a less device. They could have one of the best this device out there. So uh, this is QS Smart 4K Tech. And check me out on the next video and I will get back with you. Now, this got passed off to my friend David and he will finish the rest. Peace.